Hello guys, welcome to a video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make custom banners for your YouTube channel. So all you need pretty much is a application called Google Chrome. You probably know what that is. You can easily download it on like Safari or yeah. Uh, just type in Google Chrome and just download it onto your desktop or I don't know, whatever you guys have. Anyway, so you're going to open up Google Chrome. Of course, I started on a different page because I have a... Wait. Oh, gosh. I can't... I need to turn off my hope. Yes. Hold on. Sorry about that, guys. Oops, I closed it out. I'm going to open up and, and there we go. We have, a, we have our Google Chrome out. You want to type in Pixlr. So, Pix... Yeah, Pixlr. Just like that. And then it'll take you to this page. You want to go to online photo editor. Um, and here we go. This is it, pretty much. So, pixel floor editor. Uh, you want to do create new image. And you are going to go, uh, you want to type into width. Uh, where is it? You want to do width, uh, 2560. And for height. 1440. There we go. And you want to go transparent. Name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna do and from B keys for the and I'm just gonna name it Ben. Ben or yeah. And okay. So now this will show up like this. So I'm right here. I'll turn the gun at the anyway, so you're gonna start off with that. So now you wanna get a template which I'll find a way to put a description for it. I'll obviously I'll try. It. If uh yeah anyway, I'll put it I'll put a link in the description for the template. You're gonna wanna click on layer and you are going to oh, sorry, you're gonna click on layer here. You're gonna go open image image as layer. Then you're gonna go to the then you're gonna go to your template, which is I have it on fire. And there we go, fire open. There we go, now you got your template on the screen here. So now next what you're gonna wanna do is we're going to wanna add some text to your what do you call it? Text to your banner because there's no banner without text. Unless you wanna do I don't know. I don't know what you wanna do without text. Anyway, um you're gonna click on the text icon, which is a little A symbol here. And you are going to click anywhere you want or wherever you you want your text to be. And you're gonna type something. So I already have a banner, so I'm just gonna type in email. Great, there we go. So you have your name here. It's a little too your channel name or your name, I don't know. It's a little too small, so you wanna maximize the size to about 130, so the max size. You probably center it, like it's up to you if you want it. Wherever you want it, I, I, I normally center it. Uh, now you want to change the font because that doesn't really look like a really decorative font. So I have a font downloaded. I will leave a link in the description for where you can get download some fonts onto your computer. But anyway, I'm trying to find it. It's in the D, remember? Uh, it's right here. Yeah. Beauty and the Beast. That's what it's called. Anyway. And I'm going to change the color to white. There we go. Uh, trust me, do it to white. I'll show you why after. Uh, now you're gonna go bold. And there we go. Your that's your channel name. I'm gonna move it down a slight bit. Uh, there we go. So you got your channel name there. And now let's make it look a lot better. So you wanna right click on your layer, which has your channel name or your name. Go to layer styles. Um, do that again. Layer styles, there we go. Uh, you want to go to rock shadow and you're going to put it all the way to 100. You're going to change this to 5. Uh, you're going to change the distance to 5 and you're going to change the size to 5. And color black, so leave the color. And it gives you sort of a shadow. Got a lot of sort of a drop shadow in your name. If you can't really see it, you'll probably see it a lot better uh, when we have everything done. There we go, so we got your drop shadow. Now we're gonna add, if you have any social medias, like I have a, I have Instagram and I have Twitter. Um, so I'm gonna add in my Instagram. 
so open images layer. You can easily find some images for Instagram or Twitter or Snapchat, whatever you guys have on Google. I normally download some of mine off Google, so there we go. Bam, there we go. It, it, it's kind of large right now, so we're gonna make it a lot smaller because I don't know if you guys, I don't think you guys want a big image like that. So you're gonna go to edit, free trans, free, I did not see that. No, okay, anyway, just click on that. I forgot to read it. Uh, then you're gonna go, you're gonna, you're gonna hold shift, hold shift down, otherwise it's gonna do this. And I don't think you guys wanted to do that. Let me control Z. Command Z. Are you serious? You're not doing nothing today. Are you serious? Control Z. Command Z. What is it? No. Okay, I, I gotta delete that layer and do that again. I guess this will give me another chance to, um, no, just delete that. I, I guess this will give me another chance to do that. Free transform. Yeah, there we go. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. Ugh. Layer. Open images layer. Insta. There we go. And there we go. Okay, so free transform. There we go. Hold shift down and minimize it to as big as you want. I'll normally make it like about maybe a little smaller. Maybe that says yeah. And now you're gonna move it to wherever you want. I recommend do it to the side or at the bottom. Uh, because yeah. So if you see here, let me just place this down. So if you see here, this says um, mobile phones, tablets, and desktop, which is like a computer or a TV or something. So this is what iPhone viewers will see. This is what tablet viewers will see, and this is what like uh, Apple TV and what did I do? What did I just do? Oh, I just scrolled up. Hey, that's fine. Anyway. Yeah, and that's what all TV and Mac or computers will see. So, now let's add some more text to your Instagram name. So, at, uh, my one is Neil, my one is Neil, underscore, gray, 21, don't forget to follow me. <laughs> and you're going to change the font to something else. I really don't like any of the fonts, uh, the default fonts. I'd, re I'd recommend you download some fonts from the website that I'll put in the description. But, yeah, I'll just put a font in for now. Let's just do that one. Minimize the size because I don't think you'll want your social media is too big uh, and covering your username. There we go. And change it to white again. There we go. Just like that. And change it to bold. Make it bold. There we go. And now you're going to make it do the drop shadow again. So layer styles. Drop shadow. Uh, 100 opacity. Uh, five distance and five size. There we go. Now you got your drop shadow guy there. So now you're wondering, okay, uh, now I want a background because that's pretty much what, because you don't want to see like a great thing that says text something behind it. Anyway, so, oh, I forgot one of the main features. Oh my gosh, how could I forget that? Anyway, um, I'm going to create a new layer. New layer. I can't believe I forgot that feature. I'm Really sorry if you got that. Uh, go bring your <laughs> bring your next layer here, and you're gonna wanna click on the draw tool, which is right here, and you're gonna wanna draw a rectangle right there, covering all that, and a re oops, that's bad, and a rectangle covering all this gray area there. Oh. It's, it's fine, you won't really see that little thing on YouTube anyway. Sorry about that guys, uh, I forgot I forgot about that little feature there. Anyway, so now you have that, and now you want your background. So what you're going to do again is you're going to uh, keep on scrolling out. Uh, scroll in, scroll in. I hate using this often. Where's my other mouse? So, yeah, it's a mouse. Anyway, you're going to go layer again, and you are going to go uh, open images layer, and you're going to get a image. I normally do stuff like this. I'm going to use the image that I uh, use for my channel. So there we go. It is that little, little tiny thing there. Anyway, so you're going to go edit. You're going to go free transform. You're going to hold shift. And you're going to maximize this thing. 2D max. 
And where did this, where did it, where did it go? Come on, come on thing. Is it still down there? Because, oh, it's still down there. Anyway, you're gonna wanna do that. You're gonna wanna bring it down one, and there you go. You have your banner. There we go, you have your banner. And that's pretty much it, guys. You prob I'm guessing you would probably know how to put, insert a banner onto your channel. But anyway, that's pretty much it, guys. So you got your name. You can see the drop shadow really uh, showing now. It makes it look a lot cleaner, I guess. Anyway, so that's pretty much the video on how to make your own custom banner for YouTube. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Don't you like and subscribe and comment if you want to see more of these kind of tutorial videos maybe i'll do how to make your custom logo for your channel or even how to make a custom thumbnail i don't know with the same software because it's really fun using the software and again one more quick uh quick little step one more step here uh that would make your life a lot easier by saving this image it, you could either do it as jpeg or png i normally use it as png uh, here we go, uh, save to desktop, I already have, oh, crap, okay, I gotta I got change the name, uh, I'm gonna just spam a bunch of numbers, cause why not, right, I really don't care, uh, is it safe on this one, no, it's safe on my other desktop, so, yeah, so if you did enjoy this video again, don't forget to subscribe and comment, if you, if you wanna see more of these, uh, we I'd love to do more of these kind of videos, like tutorials, so, yeah, I know this might make your life a lot easier by making, um, uh, what do you call it, making banners, yeah, so this is what mine looks like, I find it really nice, so anyway, yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one, peace out.